Yes, I love that comment and it's totally true. Welcome to Veiling Styles Around the World Part 2. Today we're talking about Bedouin veils. But first, who are the Bedouin people? The Bedouin are historically nomadic tribes from the Swana region, originally from the Arabian Peninsula but have moved to find homes as far west as Morocco. It should be noted that today especially, um, not all women wear veil. But historically, they were really important for a number of reasons. One reason was to protect the face from the super harsh desert climate. Another was dowry. A lot of women would keep their dowry in the form of coins on their veils. Many of these coins are very old, passed down through many, many generations. They also serve as another form of protection against the evil eye. Since the face is believed to be the most susceptible to the evil eye, of course it has to be protected. So traditionally, there are also amulets that are sewn into the veils. But it's not just about the look of the veils, but the sound as well. The desert has really strong winds, so then the winds would blow, all of the bells, amulets, coins would all jingle together. Oh, as well as chains and beads. This one is a really beautiful example. And that sound helps drive off the evil eye. Of course, they vary a ton from place to place. Closer to Palestinian villages, there tends to be less fabric and more straight up coins. The Northern Sinai Desert tends to have dark red or orange cloth. In the Southern Sinai, they tend to be a light orange or yellow. In Yemen or Saudi Arabia, they're more likely to be black. In Oman, things change up quite a bit. This is one of the full face coverage versions. This looks like it would be hot, but it probably provides a lot of protection. And then we have Rashida veils. They live along the border of Eritrea and Sudan. The veils are incredibly detailed. Their garments are also known for moving really beautifully with their dances. Bedouin veils are often referred to as burqa. When you hear burqa, this is probably the image that comes to mind. This just shows that there are different definitions depending on the society and the context. There are some types of Rashida veils that don't cover the hair and just cover the lower half of the face. Embroidery is also, of course, incredibly important to these veils in every other part of the clothing as well. And recently, embroidery has been used as a method of empowering Bedouin women. The Association for the Improvement of the Status of Women, or Desert Embroidery, was founded in 1996. They work to raise the social and economic status of Bedouin women and improve education for children. And they've also created a bunch of new embroidery designs. A lot of Bedouin societies are traditionally patriarchal, and these women wanted to change that. So they created new designs that symbolize centering and empowering Bedouin women. By the way, a few years ago, this organization was taken advantage of, and they were actually tricked into working with Israeli designers that were working to displace people, which is not what these women stood for. This is just scratching the surface of just how important embroidery is in Palestine and in the surrounding areas. I'll see you next time.